The heart has a vital working mechanism. Let us now have a closer look at this. The most important of the mechanisms in your heart are the pumps known as the atrium and ventricles on its right and left. It is the responsibility of the left atrium and ventricle to distribute the oxygenated blood arriving to the heart to the organs and tissues. The right atrium and ventricle are responsible for sending the dirty or oxygen depleted blood to the lungs for cleaning. When oxygenated blood reaches the heart, it first passes to a small pump in the upper part, or the left atrium. From there, it is passed onto a large pump beneath, which is the left ventricle. Similarly, deoxygenated or dirty blood is passed from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Everything here needs to take place in the right order. If that order is damaged, either no or too much blood will be pumped through the body. There are valves between the atria and ventricles to permit the sequence to take place properly. These valves open in only one direction, that of the flow of blood. When the atria contract, these valves open and blood fills the ventricle. Once this process has taken place, the valves close to prevent the blood flowing back to where it came from. Similar valves are also present in the ventricles. When ventricles contract, the valves open and let the blood flow directly to the body. When the pumping process stops, the valves close and blood is thus prevented from returning to the heart. The sound we perceive as the heartbeat is not contrary to what most people imagine, the sound emerging as the result of the heart's contraction and dilation. What we are actually hearing is a powerful opening and closing of these four valves. This impeccable system proves that the heart and the circulatory system could not have emerged as the result of chance, but were created by a sublime power. That power belongs to Almighty Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth. The timing of the heart also constitutes a flawless structure and order. This is established by the coordination and communication among the cells that comprise the heart. A sublime intelligence is manifested in the cells. These cells transmit a current to the other side of the heart at a speed of approximately 60 centimeters a second. The production of the signal is astonishingly quick. One fourteenth of a second. As the current moves quickly, it sets the two atria in motion and enables these to contract in order to collect blood. Just when the electrical impulse is about to reach the ventricular muscles, it is halted by specialized cells in the muscle tissue between the right atrium and the right ventricle. This causes a delay in the flow of the current to reach the ventricle, and the speed of the curtain falls to 20 centimeters a second. This delay is exceedingly important because due to it, the atrium pumps the blood and is empty completely before the ventricle contracts. This is the secret behind the synchronized action of the heart. What you are watching is just one of the countless details inherent in the heart's electrical system. The slightest interruption to this system, with its miraculous features, will lead to blood not reaching the organs or else reaching them late. This will give rise to very serious consequences. Indeed, a human being will faint if blood fails to reach the brain for any longer than four or five seconds. And if this is prolonged still further, the result is death. 
In light of all these characteristics, we can see that the heart is a conscious being that produces its own energy and employs it to work in a most synchronized and harmonious manner. This action begins as a tiny node consisting of a limited number of cells, and that collection of cells knows at what speed they need to transmit the current. Otherwise the heart would be unable to do its job and stop pumping blood. At the same time, the heart accurately determines the amount of electrical current it produces. If even an immeasurably small amount of current were to pass through the region in an uncontrolled manner, the result would once again be death. In addition, the heart can regulate its own synchronization. When the cardiac cells align side by side, the cell with the fastest rhythm of expansion and contraction keeps the others in synchronization. If this rhythm is impaired, if one cell expands as the other contracts, the requisite pumping will fail to take place. The heart will soon stop, leading to death within a matter of seconds. In short, the heart is made up of special cells that constantly produce their own energy, coordinate the blood flow, expand and contract, regulate electrical currents in themselves, and are also able to plan, calculate, take precautionary measures, and act rapidly in emergency situations. Such a magnificent arrangement is obviously not the work of chance, but belongs to a superior wisdom. Mm -hmm.